Can Randy stop that honeymoon? Perfect! The perfect clone! <laughs> Jim takes Herbie to the church. Or is it Herbie? He never had any green paint on him. No one would believe I've been stood up by a car. Will Jim miss his own wedding? Can he find the real Herbie in time? Too late! Too late, Douglas! Can Jim save Herbie from the big junkyard in the sky? We'll see next on Herbie the Love Bug. <laughs> Not very sleek, but he's bright and he's sassy. When you're with him, you better leave the cares behind. It's Herbie. He makes you feel that there's a rainbow waiting just around the bend. And if the chips are down, you know he'll help you to the end. And Herbie's my best. for the third time. Well, you've got this down to perfection. Herbie, if you're nervous about our getting married, just remember I'm the guy at the altar. Now, come on. Well, I'll have to put you in the shop. New plugs, new points. I don't know, maybe a major tune-up. You're gonna be out of action for a few days. You'll, you'll miss the wedding. <laughs> There to keep you awake on your honeymoon. Left <laughs> <laughs> over from the bachelor party you didn't quite have. Oh, I see. And now, Jim, what would a cake at a bachelor party be without a lovely lady inside? Hey. Ready, Bubbles? Am I? This <laughs> is <Mrs>. Jessup. <laughs> Mrs. Jessup, if I'd known how ravishing you were in a bathing suit, I probably never would have gotten engaged. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! I can't believe all of this. Uh, attention! Attention, everyone! Attention, please! I have something to say. <laughs> Well, first, I just wish that uh, someone would fix the oil leak in this... this adorable little car. <laughs> and now, Jim, for you... Well, I must say, I set my cap for Susan myself, but uh, the better man won. No hard feelings. For anything. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Randy. Thank you, everyone, for this kind show of appreciation. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful, and I know Susan will be, too. So, what can I say except when two cars enter an intersection at the second time, you better watch this. <laughs> Watch out, fellas. No ladies' clothes, our closet, Mom. 
Mom, stand aside. There is plenty oh, of room in there. Come on, listen. We took a vote and you lost two to nothing. Yeah. Well, count again. I win four to two. Four? That's I... right. Mother, cook, housekeeper, and nag. Don't forget, nervous bride. Getting more nervous <laughs> by the minute. Oh, come on, Mom. Well, Mrs. Ann, I'm just trying to make room in my closet. Jim is going to be here with his things and there's not going to be any place for them. Then how about the attic? It's not going to be forever. Oh, so you're not marrying Jim forever, then? Oh, marriage, yes. Clothes, no. Oh, fellas, come on. Jim has agreed to try living here with us, so let's try to make him feel at home right from the beginning, okay? Then move him to the attic. <sighs> no wonder bachelors shudder at getting married. I don't know, Mom. Jim doesn't seem very nervous. I've never seen anybody so nervous in all my life. I haven't either. And you're only the best man. Sorry. Well, maybe you better just uh, pack the stuff that you're taking out, and, uh, and I'll just pack the stuff I'm bringing in. That's a good idea, Bo. Then I won't have to worry about the best man's nerves. Thanks. I don't want you to worry about a thing. I'm not worried about a thing. I'm very happy. I'm doing what I want to do. Hey, if you're just the least bit worried, you just come talk to Big Daddy Bo. That's what I'm here for. Because i got to get you to the church. Uh, but there wouldn't be a wedding without you and the girl in the ring. Now, the girl's got you, and you've got the girl. Uh, uh, who's got the ring? I gave you the ring yesterday. Have I got the ring? Sure. I, 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 I gotta find the ring. Where, where's the ring? Oh, Bo, just relax. We've got till noon tomorrow. Well, if you're as nervous as I am, and, and, and as you ought to be, we better start looking for it right away. Uh, well, well, well it, it, it just gotta be here somewhere. Huh? Oh, I got it. I got it. I told you not to worry. Well, this beats me. It's smooth sailing from here on out. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's a clever little gadget. Well, this is very interesting, but what I'm really interested in is what you found out with this thing. Well, it depends on what you're looking for. It's something, anything to discredit him. The man broke up my wedding, I'm going to return the favor. Well, I have bugged many people over the years, uh, con men, embezzlers. Uh, oh, I don't need your resume. I've already got it. What about Jim Douglas? Clean. The man is clean. Stays out of trouble, no dolls on his side, does not smoke, does not drink. You couldn't even get him in a beer commercial. Never mind what he would do and what he wouldn't do. What has he done? Well, I bugged him, tagged him, tailed him. I couldn't come up with a thing. I never seen a guy so clean. I wish my daughter would bring a guy like this home instead of the bum she's been running around with, you know what I mean? I'm not interested in your daughter. What am I paying you for? Well, I got this tape here. It's pretty clean, but, uh, except for a kind of a wild party he was at. Oh, now, now, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> a wild party, huh? Yeah, you know, lots of music, lots of broads. A chick even came out of a cake. And you know what kind of a party that sounds like. Those, uh, broads were little old ladies. I was at that wild party. I that sounded like you. Sure, you were the guy that they were all laughing at. Well, with you or without you, Jim Douglas is the guy I'm going to be laughing at. Susan, you up there? I'm here. Hi. Where you been? Home. Where are your things? Home. Home? I thought you were bringing them over today. Oh, I didn't think it was definite. What about tomorrow? Is that definite? Tomorrow is definitely definite. I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm a little surprised. I mean, I cleaned out my closets and I and I made room in the drawers and. Uh... Well, they'll still be available after the honeymoon, won't they? Oh, sure. Good. Will you? Susan, this is where we're going to be staying, isn't it? Well, I thought so. But then again, I thought that you were going to bring your things over here today, and unless you're still hesitant about moving in here. Why won't anybody believe me? I think it's great. Because it, it just isn't normal for a man to be this casual the day before his wedding. Well, I don't have that much to bring over. Just a few boxes.
guess he decided to move today after all. Oh, I better get his stuff out before I move in. <laughs> I thought you'd be back, Jim. Changed your mind about moving today, huh? Well, never say I didn't give you a helping hand. Whew. Say, Jim, uh, you plan to leave that refrigerator or what? Jim? Jim? Where does it say the groom ducks out and leaves the best man to do all the work? What am I talking to you for? I'm getting as crazy as him. <sighs> now, up the coast, there is a charming hotel on a cliff. Food's so-so, but the view is absolutely spectacular. <laughs> now, in the desert, there's a great spot with a pool and a spa. And then, of course, there are the islands. Now, don't worry, I'm a whiz at making last-minute reservations. You rat! I hate you! Maybe I should come back some other year. Maybe I should join you. Your things! They were out there all the time, weren't they? Well, I, I, I... I never know when he's kidding. Sometimes I don't know either. <laughs> Listen, you two. Pick a honeymoon, any honeymoon. But let me know as soon as you can, and I'm not kidding, okay? Bye. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and you better watch that you rat I hate you stuff. It cost me two husbands and three boyfriends. <laughs> Bye. Well, it's not going to cost me a boyfriend. Or a husband. Or a moving man. I better unload that stuff before it unloads itself. Just a minute, just a minute. I want to show you something. Okay. This is my grandmother's wedding dress. I'd love to wear it tomorrow, Jim. Well, that is... You'd look beautiful in this. But doesn't it need fitting or something? Mm -mm. Did, did you wear that at your first... Uh... Yes, I did, Jim. And if you don't want me to wear it at our wedding... Oh, it's okay. It's okay, no problem. I mean, the only sentiment for me is that it was my grandmother's. I just loved her dearly. But I, I was worried about what you'd think. Oh, it's a pretty bad tear there. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not very good with needle and thread. my bugging room. Douglas is so clean, he's boring. Good heavens, he's boring. And when you behave like this, you're just as boring. Why don't you put him out of your mind, Randall? Mother, how can you talk to me that way? You know the closest thing to my heart is revenge. Keep it up. Keep it up, and you'll get sick again. I don't care, as long as I get Douglas in that ridiculous little car of yours. Now, leave me alone. I've got to think, think, oh, think, think. hate to see you obsessive like this. Reminds me of when you were in high school, and you imagined all those boys were out to get you. Oh, because they were. They were, just because I had the only sports car in the 12th grade. You know what they did to me. They ruined my graduation. They put that horrible stink bomb in my car. They... Oh, Mother, I love you. I love you. I love you. Randall, hmm. are you quite all right? Mother, I have never been so all right. Mr. Uh, Rainey. Yeah, you're looking at him. Oh, good. Uh, my name is uh, Bigelow. Yeah? Uh, well, you were referred to me by a uh, private detective name of uh, O'Brien. Oh, sure, O'Brien. <laughs> yeah, I took his daughter out a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, he said that uh, you could, uh, well, uh, you might be willing to. You got a hot car. Oh, no, no, nothing like that. No, it's just that, uh, well, I, I, I want you to do something for me. And, and well, O'Brien said that, that you're the kind of man that doesn't ask any questions. Just one. You got the bucks? 
Oh, yeah. Um, what do you want me to do? I want you to put a stink bomb in a car. Stink bomb? No questions. No questions. I want it set to go off at a particular time tomorrow. I'll deliver the car, you deliver the goods. I thought a, a rehearsal uh, would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. You know, help calm the nerves. That way we could get better acquainted and know exactly what's going to happen so we won't have any slip-ups tomorrow. Okay. Oh, 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 of course. I've had such a run on, on, on May and December marriages lately. <laughs> this is more like uh, November and November. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm only October. Oh, sorry. September and August. No, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> no, no offense intended, and I hope no offense taken. No. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. Now, uh, where's uh, the be uh, best man? Uh, that's Bo. But uh, one of us had to watch the store today, and so I figured, um, under the circumstances, it should be him. Him. Yeah. Uh, I was the best man in the school play once. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it was a mystery. I poisoned the groom. I hope I have better luck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, what about the matron of honor? Oh, well, the matron of honor is our travel agent, and if she doesn't work today, we don't get a honeymoon tomorrow. I could pinch it since no one will let me be the bride. <laughs> That's good. Well, uh, will we be having a flower girl? Not me. I don't even want her clothes in my closet. Oh, well, <laughs> well, 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 why don't we just move, move into position and, and we, we can oh, okay. to the, to the well, left, please. Yeah, the same just, just kind of, yeah, just kind of circle. Oh, oh. Oh. I don't know why we don't have a ceremony down here. Good idea. <laughs> Shall I wait for you, Mr. Bigelow? I don't need anyone ogling when I'm borrowing a car. Oh, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Bigelow, when you have such a nice car, I can't think why you'd want to borrow a funny little car like that. You're not being paid to think, Miss Schaefer. You're being paid to take shorthand, do accounting, figure budgets, work computers, and other menial tasks. Now go, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Douglas, you are in for a surprise. <laughs> Something wrong with the steering. Step out, please. Uh, officer, I'm in a hurry. Mm -hmm. We see that. So are we. <laughs> Any more of this rough stuff and I'll have your badges. You can have them, rubber legs, right after you pass the sobriety test. Drinking? You think I've been drinking? Unless those figure eights you were doing happened on Tutti Frutti ice cream. I am stone cold sober. I'm the president of a bank. I'm an honorary member of the Marine Color Guard. Well, maybe you'd better come downtown then. Never, never, never! Will it take long? Again, 
will I go through this kind of humiliation. You? What about me? I wasn't even drinking. Oh, you must be a throwback to your great-grandfather on your father's side. It's that car. There's something about that car. Son, when a man is sick, he really shouldn't drink. But why me? Why me? When the little old ladies are driving, it's so nicey-nicey butter wouldn't melt in its mouth. It's... Little old ladies. Mother, I love you. I love you. I love you. Son, the last two years of his life, your great-grandfather couldn't even have visitors. Yeah. Honey, have you seen Grandma's wedding dress? No. I thought you put it away. I was just going to. I, I thought I left it right here. I haven't seen it. Come to think of it, I haven't seen it either. Not since I showed it to Jim earlier. You don't suppose he... He what? Well, he didn't seem too anxious for me to wear it. Is that what he said? No, but I could tell by what he didn't say. Sometimes... When men are jealous, they don't like to admit it. But I wish he had had more confidence in me. I mean, I wouldn't even have considered wearing it if he didn't want me to. He didn't have to take it. Mother, you don't even know he did. Well, where is it? For you, Mr. Bigelow. It's not Mr. It's Auntie. You must have an old Auntie in your family somewhere. I don't look like you. Then fake it. And uh, give Auntie a kiss. People are beginning to stare. Whatever you say, Mr. Bigelow. Uh, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Dear, dear little car. Oh, hello, 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 you dear little car. Now, where is first here? Huh? Ah, now we shall go for a nice little ride with Auntie. <laughs> Stepping out of the car, please, madam. Have you no respect for senior citizens? Not when they drive like you do, ma'am. Would you please step out of the vehicle? <laughs> Very well. Uh, would you step over to the curb, ma'am? I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but I assure you, I have not been drinking. No. <laughs> last-minute things. This just came back from the cleaners. Looks good, doesn't it? I think I'll just hold it up like this on this hanger for the whole ceremony. <laughs> sit down. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't want to sit down. Don't you wonder what I'm going to be wearing? Well, 
Yeah? Or, uh, is it because you already know what I'm not going to be wearing? I think I missed a turn somewhere. Jim, I realize that we're going to have the rest of our lives to get to know each other. Uh-huh. But I just want to be open about something that's on my mind. Sure, honey. Sure, go ahead. See, you sure I... you don't want to sit down? Uh, no. No, no. Jim, I want us to be open with each other. And uh, that's why I, I wish that you had been open with me this morning about the dress. I mean, if you didn't want me to wear it, I mean, why didn't you just tell me instead of taking it? If you took it. And you did take it. I don't understand why you didn't have the confidence. Grandma would have loved to see you in her dress. And so would I. Loved you. Surprise, honey. seen a car door I couldn't pick open. <laughs> We've never seen a car like this one. If you want a stink bomb in there, I gotta break the window. No, 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 no. It's got to be immaculate. Well, there must be another way. And there is. Yeah, this one. Now, what would it take to make this one look exactly like that one? tomorrow morning. Oh. Herbie the Love Bug will continue. Jim? Jim? Well, look at you. You're not even up yet. What are you doing here? It's three hours till countdown. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I, I got nervous. What are you so nervous about? You. You're so calm, you're driving me crazy. But I'm on to you. I didn't see Herbie out in his usual spot. What happened? You get a little nervous last night? Couldn't sleep? Had to go for a drive? Oh, I slept like a baby, Bo. And Herbie's right where he's supposed to be. Now, you just relax, because this is my one in a million morning, and I don't want anything to spoil it. It's perfect! Perfect, a perfect clone! <laughs> it's so perfect, I can't tell which is the original and which is the fake. Oh, well, that's easy. <laughs> 